Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus six months from now. So, you know, a lot can happen in six months. Six months. Free will plays a part. This is kind of like for, you know, this may or may not happen because so much can change in six months. My advice would to put this would be to put this in your like playlist or something save this video and watch it six months from now you might be surprised I think you probably will be but anyway let's just see what we got what do we have don't worry about the bruise I know it's there nothing bad happened um, we tried to put an IV in and they didn't succeed and I'm not sick so don't get that impression we're gonna get a couple of these we got three we're gonna take them so, Leo, Air, Leo, I was going to say Aries. I don't know if you are going to be dealing with an Aries or what. Could be. It'd be a good match. Aries would be a good match for you. Anyhow, six months from now, what do we have for Leo? Ah, apple. Temptation. When you see an apple, you think about Adam and Eve. Yes, it's about temptation. Temptation will test you. Looks like the time is ripe. I mean, that apple looks pretty ripe. Bowl. Plenty of material things. So you're going to have plenty. And tiger. Doing something risky. Taking a chance. So I think that you will be taking a chance. You're going to be tempted to take a chance, and I think you're probably going to do it. You think about that, Adam and Eve. And it's funny that I used that analogy, and this came up, but Adam and Eve, I mean, you could say that's like the lovers, okay? So, on the lovers card, right? It's kind of like Adam and Eve. So, I'm wondering if you are going to be tempted by, you know, a love connection, you know, an unexpected love connection. It feels like... Um, you're being called to take this chance. Looks like this tiger is licking his lips. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's just his tongue. But, um... Hmm. Yeah. So I just feel it's gonna, probably going to be wild. Maybe you're going to be in a situation where you have to tame yourself and it's going to be really 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 hard to tame yourself as i say that my cat is scratching at the door so i have to let him in somebody may be trying to scratch your door down or something like that you know knocking at your door um and he does look like a little tiger he does so interesting Somebody can be licking their lips. Uh, what's the, that song? Licking your lips. Uh, I think it's beat by Rihanna. I could be wrong. What the hell is that song? Anyway, somebody is definitely going to be interested. And I think that you're probably going to be interested back. Okay, what do we have six months from now? You're going to be very tempted. And it's going to look really, 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 really good. And maybe it's you looking good, but somebody's going to look really, really good. Woo! Look at that temptation. You are absolutely going to be very tempted. Very, very, very tempted. This is temptation. Lust. There is, and I, I remember I, I used the lover's card as that analogy. So we have some lust here. Okay. Very tempting energy. You're probably going to be uh, on fire. You probably are going to be on fire. Um, I think that, you know, there's somebody in this reading that is going to be looking very, very, very good. Very good. And feeling very good. Um, but be careful, because when the devil comes out, it means all is not as it seems. <laughs> you think about the, the the Adam and Eve, okay? All is not as it seems. The devil is ruled by the shadow. So you are going to have to be careful. Five of Cups reversed. The Hermit reversed. Two of Swords reversed. Now this is coming out of hiding coming out of hermit mode now we've been talking about hermit mode haven't we for you i've been telling you you have to go into hermit mode 
It's time to withdraw from others. It's time to reflect. It's time to go within. It's time to realize your, your true identity. But this is coming out of it. And now we're talking six months from now. So I think that you're going to be very tempted. You're probably going to see something. This is beginning to realize, beginning to see there's another, there is another opportunity. This is unblocking, opening your heart, realizing something. You're, this is, you're going to be, this is all three of these cards is realizing something, coming to reality, accepting something, coming out of a painful situation. If you've been lonely, it's the end of loneliness. Okay. Um, interesting. Uh oh. <laughs> end of loneliness for some of you queen of pentacles the chariot reversed the king of swords and the ten of swords reversed now you have to be careful be careful of false beginnings what you see is not always what you get and I feel as though you are going to be tempted by something that looks very hot very, very, very hot, okay? There's lust, okay? There's lust, and I feel like you need to be careful. You do need to be careful. Um, you Maybe you're lonely, and you're putting yourself back out there. You know, you're, you've been in some sort of hermit mode. I'm going to keep these because I'm probably going to use them. You've been in some sort of hermit mode. You know, you've, you've done your withdrawal, and you don't want to be alone anymore. I can see that we have some here who doesn't want to be alone. It's clear. Right in the middle of the nine of pentacles reverse. So we have somebody here. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. I really don't want to be alone. Okay. The hermit reversed and nine of pentacles reverse. I understand. Nobody wants to be alone. Nobody does. So we have somebody here that is needing to open up their eyes. Okay. Really make sure that your eyes are open. Okay, just because you're lonely, you don't want to get into something that is just based on sex. Okay, because we do have some, and, and the lover's card is a sexual connection. Okay, and I don't need the lover's card because I've seen it already in my head. And I can tell by this, these cards that I have right here, that you are going to be tempted by something that looks very attractive. It is sexy. It is hot. Okay. But I don't believe whatever this thing is <laughs> leads to emotional fulfillment. Okay? It's going to... But you think about the devil. The devil is going to woo you. Okay? Okay? They woo you. They're very... It's very cunning. It's gratifying. It feels so good. But it's not emotionally fulfilling. And it will probably end and come to a complete stop just as quickly as it starts. And I'm sorry to bust your bubble. I am. This is ending. Okay. So I think that you need to think. You need to be wise. You need to, maybe you need to protect yourself. Um, don't let vulnerability um, cloud your thoughts. Cover, you don't, don't wear those rose colored glasses because you're lonely. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on to your value. Hold on to your value. That's what she is doing. This person is holding on to their value. The Queen of Pentacles has value in her hand and she is holding on to it. Okay? She's holding on to it. That should focus if I don't move. But I like to move. So there we go. She's holding on to her value. She's not giving it away. She's not. If you are the masculine watching this, you may have somebody on the outskirts or on the outside that is valuable. This person is valuable if you are the ma or whatever, the masculine energy. There is somebody here that is holding on to their value. They are not just giving it away. This person um, is logical. This person is stable. This person is a hard worker, devoted um, real real but we have a loveless situation over here so you're gonna have and in the seven of cups that we saw i don't know if i've shuffled i haven't it was upright i moved my deck that is a choice be careful with your choices in six months from now you're going to be presented with options okay you're going to have options this is options with an s on the end 
okay? So you got one option that is very attractive to you. It looks hotter than hell. But it doesn't lead to love. It will end very fast. You have another one that is stable and solid and secure that is holding on to their value. You may need to do an investigation. You may need to investigate. You may need to think about this. You are going to need to think about this. I feel, Leo, in six months from now, you're going to have options in which, you know, you're going to have to look back at your past. And remember what didn't work. It didn't work because it looked so good. You know, looks can be deceiving. You think about the shadow. Looks can be deceiving. What you see is not what you get. So I feel like in six months from now, you're going to have to really open your eyes and make sure that you are not just giving yourself away because you're lonely to somebody that is sexy okay because this sexy person doesn't have any emotional availability they have no intention of moving forward with you I'm sorry to give you this message I am but you know, this says take, doing something risky, taking a chance. I think you're going to. I think you're going to do it because of loneliness. There is some loneliness here. There is. There is some loneliness here. Wanting love. You want it. It's clear. You've been in a sad situation with the Five of Cups. You've been, you've been, you know, crying. You've been, you, you have, there's been some tears, right? There's been sadness. There's been loneliness. And you get this, this uh, great looking opportunity. It looks so good. It's really hard to say no. So I feel like um, this could be somebody coming back, something coming back from the dead with the Ten of Swords, somebody from your past, the Ten of Swords reversed. Just saying. Um, I feel like uh, oh, there's lack of self-worth here. And then we got worth over here. So we have somebody here that is lacking self-worth. This is like desperate. The Nine of Pent. Don't let your desperation get you into a situation that doesn't lead to love. For some of you, you if you are in a coupled relationship, it may, I mean, this is sex. This is lust. This is sex. This is all is not as it seems. It's not love. Okay. And this is coming to a halt, coming to a stop. Something may be coming to a, a, a dead stop. There's a lack of direction here and something, I mean, this is really something could end like suddenly there could be a, a sudden uh, ending of some sort. Over here, the King of Swords, this is somebody who has the power, somebody that knows the truth. This is somebody that is very intellectual and intelligent that has some sort of information. This guy has some sort of information. He has something uh, honest, okay? He's honest. He's truthful. He's matter of fact. What is this guy doing? What is this King of Swords doing? This King of Swords is speaking. He's telling something. He's making a decision. He's, he's going to do something. What is he going to do? Now, somebody could be losing, losing something with the Nine of Pentacles reversed. This is like a loss of money or a loss of finances, a decrease Not wanting to be single. Not enjoying life. So we do have somebody here that doesn't want to be single. They don't want to, they, they're, but they're not happy. But this is making a logical decision. Somebody is going to be making a logical decision based on the facts, based on the truth. So I think, I mean, somebody is going to be making a decision. This decision is going to put, is going to stop somebody right in their tracks. Yeah, not going to go down that road. 
not going to put in effort. Somebody is in this lack of commitment here. So somebody is going to decide not to go down that road. This is, this is, uh, now this is lacking common sense. Doesn't want responsibilities, not interested. Somebody is going to give up. They're going to, I'm not interested. Sorry, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in moving forward with you. I'm not interested in, in this making a judgment call. So there's a judgment call that is going to be made. Something is going to be revealed. Something is going, some truth is going to come out about this person. And maybe, and I don't know if it is, it could be a Capricorn. It could be anybody. Everybody takes on, um, or has ego or has all the signs in their chart. Doesn't have to be a Capricorn. Um, could have Lib could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be a Scorpio. Could be a Virgo, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but I feel like there is a judgment call that is about to be made. Somebody is is going to be revealing something. They're going to be revealing the truth, and you're going to have to accept it. It is the truth. You're going to have to accept that whoever it is that you're dealing with, it's not love, or they're not emotionally available, or something like that. And six months from now, this is a... Uh, realization. I feel like somebody is going to ask you for some sort of reconciliation or something. They may want another chance and you, it's just, it's not love. The Ace of Cups reverses, it's not love. But you may be, the, this could also be you realizing that this isn't love. It's just sex. And it, it could be with anybody anybody at all realizing this is just an obsession and this the, the the devil card is an obsession so somebody and and it's also sabotage it feels like we have somebody here that is sabotaging an opportunity for something solid and stable by going back it's like they keep going back 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 to their old repetitive patterns based on lust based on looks and i think i wanted to get that out of my mouth a, a while back you can't keep repeating the same patterns it's not about the looks it's not about the looks do you hear me it's not about the looks repeating that and always going for the looks is going to get you hurt it's going to get you heartbroken you need to it's more than meets the eye it is. So I feel like uh, this is somebody that says, no, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in giving this a chance. I'm not interested. Um, I, I'm aware. I'm aware of what is going on. I'm, I'm Because I see a, like being awoken, a wake-up call, getting a wake-up call as something gets revealed about whoever this person is that you're dealing with. You're dealing with somebody who's not emotionally in it. Their heart isn't in it, but, but there's a deep attraction to this person. And I feel like in six months from now, you will be tempted to go down that road, but you will, I think there'll be a, you know, a moment of decision where you decide not to. It's like, no, I'm not going to go down that road. I'm leaving it. Eight of cups now, leaving it behind. I'm going towards something more. So I feel like you are going to be going in a new direction. You're going to be leaving behind something that is emotionally unfulfilling, right? It hurts you. You notice five cups are up, three are down. You may have been cheated on. You may have been deceived. You, you've you definitely been hurt. And I see you turning your back on the situation. And I feel like you may be traveling. You may be traveling to a new destination. Maybe you're moving. You're moving. And this could be like in August. Maybe it's the month of August. Um, somebody is moving, they're moving to a new place. That's what I feel like this is. And I'm, I'm saying that because I already did a Leo six month. I already did it a little while ago, but it was, uh, I decided to do another one. And I do feel like somebody is going to be moving. They are, you're, it's like, you're going to be offered an opportunity from somebody that is going to give you an opportunity to move someplace. And I think that that's another thing that you could do is, is take a risk to do that. I feel like um, you have been blocking and, and unaware. You have been unaware of your value, unaware of your worth. 
and you've repeated that over and over and over and over and over again and it's time it's time for you to know your value and know your worth and wait for somebody that is honest and true because you do have somebody here that is honest and true somebody that will protect you a protector it's a it's an air sign i think it's an air sign a libra gemini aquarius if you are a feminine it's a libra gemini aquarius if you are a masculine it is a taurus virgo capricorn So you have somebody here that, uh, you know, will uh, be part of your life in the future, will help you to get over this loneliness, but you don't want to run into the arms of somebody that just looks good. So anyway, you are going to, going to be presented with some options, and one of these options, I think, is somebody from your past, somebody that you have talked to before, and doesn't mean you slept with them, but you probably have, but maybe not. You may have. Maybe you didn't, though. It's somebody that you know is not good for you. You know it. You know it. But there's some sort of sexual attraction to this person. And so I feel like you will be given the chance. You will be given the chance to break free and walk away. The choice will be yours. Um, so in six months from now, I see somebody, I see a feminine holding on to her value and turning her back on this nonsense. I think a masculine is going to do the same thing. It's basically surviving. I've survived and I'm not going back. So, Leo, I some of you are moving and somebody you may be begged not to not to. Please don't go, please don't go. You have to know your value. Somebody may try to block you. They may try to block you from moving or stop you from moving or whatever the case is. But this is a dead end. The Page of Pentacles reverses a dead end. Somebody is about to be held accountable. There's some sort of karma here. Truths are about to be revealed. You, somebody, you may be, somebody may be saying, you know what, I'm not in love with you anymore. Somebody's been dealing with a player. But I feel like it's, it's over, it's done. Somebody is making a life-changing decision. And I think this decision has is, is saying, sorry, I have nothing left to give. Goodbye.